President Joe Biden kicked off his administration's 20 state tour today, trying to highlight the nation's economic progress. Today, he visited a semiconductor plant in North Carolina. But Republicans say when it comes to the economy, the president has been missing in action. Nicole D'Antonio reports from Capitol Hill. Hey, everybody, how are you? President Biden kicked off his administration's Investing in America tour at Wolf Speed, a semiconductor manufacturing plant in Durham, North Carolina. The company recently announced a $5 billion expansion that could create 1,800 jobs. This is the largest investment in manufacturing in the history of North Carolina. Over the next three weeks, senior Biden administration officials will visit 20 states to spotlight other U.S. manufacturing companies that are thriving. American products are being made here. We're growing the economy. And today I announced that since I took office, we've attracted, get this, we've attracted 435 billion, billion dollars in private investment in American manufacturing. The president's tour comes as Republicans who now control the House are demanding he resume negotiations about possible cuts to government spending before they agree to raise the debt limit. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy sent a letter to the White House Tuesday requesting a meeting with the president to specifically discuss reducing non-defense government spending, reclaiming unspent COVID funds, and strengthening work requirements for certain benefit programs. Everybody's looking for workers, and yet the federal government is paying millions of people about thirty to $40,000 a year to sit at home. It makes absolutely no sense. In response to McCarthy's letter, the White House press secretary said the president welcomes a conversation about the nation's fiscal future, but lifting the debt ceiling is non-negotiable. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, the White House. And Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says that her department is taking, quote, extraordinary measures to buy time for both sides to find a deal to avoid defaults on the nation's $31.4 trillion borrowing authorities. Those measures will run out as possibly as early as June.